Welcome to Inspiring Prayer. Today we will say the Victory Prayer for spiritual breakthrough and blessings. In the midst of life's battles, let us come together to seek the Lord's intervention for a spiritual breakthrough. We shall raise our voices in powerful victory prayers, calling upon God's might and authority. We stand on holy ground expectant for the outpouring of blessings and deliverance from the King of Kings. As warriors of Christ, let us petition for His hand to guide us to victory, transforming trials into triumphs. Let us now begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, I just want to start off by offering you my praises. I hold you in the highest regard, Jesus. I elevate your name above all else. In every aspect of your being, God, your greatness is unparalleled. Your dominion, your power, they stand alone, without any competition. You truly have no equal. I'm reaching out to you with a request, Lord, asking that you strengthen my faith. I'm seeking your assistance to push past disbelief. Give me faith to topple any mind games and uncertainties that try to argue with my faith in you. I'm asking for your support, Lord, to live by faith, to step forward without needing to rely on what I can see. Because as I begin to truly live by faith, I'm certain that luck, odds, and chances don't hold any real weight. The only presence that truly counts is yours, King Jesus. Your scriptures have shown me, especially in Mark, that it's all about having trust in God. You've taught me that if I speak to my challenges with conviction, without a shred of doubt in my heart, believing fully that what I declare will happen, it will indeed come true. You've assured me that whatever I petition through prayer, as long as I believe that I've already received it, it shall be mine. I'm seeking your guidance, Lord to have unwavering belief in those words. Help me, Jesus, and grant me the strength to harbor a bold and unshakable faith, a steadfast belief, one that holds firm no matter the circumstances, so that I can stay unwaveringly anchored in my trust in you. When the trials come as storms, I ask for a faith that trusts you to quiet my turbulent days. If my challenge is as immovable as a mountain, bestow upon me the conviction that you, my Lord, have the might to flatten it. And if my obstacle stands tall like Goliath, empower me with the belief that your strength will topple all giants. I bring to you this one giant in my life that I am facing today. Help me, my Lord. Ask God for everything you need in this very moment and trust in His infinite wisdom and compassion. Share your requests in the comments below with unwavering faith in His love and grace. Lord, in times when this world lets me down, when I feel forsaken, may the Holy Spirit whisper to me gently and persistently, let it be a voice that brings peace and reassures me that you are the steadfast foundation, my rock, especially when all else around me is as fragile as shifting sands. Ephesians mentions that in every situation, we should arm ourselves with the shield of faith to snuff out the fiery arrows from the adversary. I'm reaching out to you, Lord Jesus, to help me pick up that shield of faith, a barrier that makes the enemy weak. As I seek to deepen my faith, I'm also praying that you, to impress upon my spirit an urgency and longing to immerse myself in your scriptures every single day. I've learned from Romans 10 verse 17 that faith evolves from listening from the word of Christ. I praise your holy name, Lord Jesus, and I'm requesting that you examine me closely, stripping away anything that might be stalling the expansion of my faith. Whether it's people in my life casting doubts or my own inner skeptic, help me to clear away these obstacles 
and to strengthen my trust in you. I ask of you, King Jesus, to clear away these stumbling blocks from my path. Should it be hurt that I'm grappling with, then Heavenly Father, I request your healing touch. For any burden that might be pressing down on my shoulders, I'm reaching out for your hand to lift these heavy loads off of me. My commitment to trust in you remains unshaken. I promise to keep throwing all my worries onto you, always resting my trust and hopes on your shoulders, Lord. You are the timelessness, the eternal one. Past, present, and future is fused in your essence. I'm so grateful for the profound love you shower upon me. I crave for your divine presence to stay by my side now and forever. Lord, please bolster my spirits and keep nurturing my faith. In the name of Jesus, I present these prayers. When I speak of praying for victory, disciples of the God, I want you to grasp that prayer does not only transform circumstances, but goes beyond. Prayer removes tensions, unlocks the doors to blessings, and serves as an intimate communication with the Almighty. It forges a bond between you and Jesus. It acts as a connection to receive solutions to your problems. In the sanctuary of prayer, I profess the realities of the spirit realm into existence in our material world. Through prayer, the might of God is summoned to tear down barriers, to shatter the chains that bind us, to obliterate curses passed through generations, and to breathe life into parched souls wandering barren lands. Prayer is similar to power. It is the instrument through which battles are quietly fought and won. Those personal challenges, the internal tug of wars, the adversaries that stand against you, these battles are all faced and overcome in the realm of prayer. Triumph is found within the act of prayer. As it says in Hebrews, looking unto Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. My gaze is consistently focused on Jesus Christ. He alone deserves all my love and commitment. He alone is worthy of all my praise and exultation. He alone must occupy the forefront, the highest place in my list of life's demands. Today, I feel compelled to motivate you to elevate your prayers, to deepen your adoration and worship of God, and to pursue Him with a sense of urgency, to ignite within yourself a zeal, an intense yearning, a profound craving for a close and personal bond with Jesus Christ. In Matthew's narrative, Jesus is recorded sharing time with his followers and offering this instruction. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I think about this. Do I truly chase after Jesus? Am I prepared to forsake temporary desires of our world? I ask my heart, Am I ready to bear my cross and walk in Jesus' steps? The cross was never an emblem of ease or straightforwardness. It represents a junction of suffering, a crucible of transformation or tribulation. Yet it signifies rescue and optimism. It epitomizes the love that Jesus has for us and the strength that emanates from his sacrifice. The cross stands for that place where my selfish self is conquered, where sin falls and Christ triumphs. Thus, I stay aware of Jesus' command, renounce myself, take up my cross, and follow in his ways. Let me now engage in prayer. Father, your scripture in Matthew declares, and whatever you request in prayer, if you believe, you shall obtain it. I cherish this assurance, confident that you, the everlasting Almighty, will hearken to my pleas as I ask with faith. My gratitude abounds because you are a merciful God and you have boundless power and might. My heart swells with thankfulness, knowing that despite your majestic might and splendor, you still find moments to attend to and acknowledge my prayers. I find such joy in this honored chance to speak with you. My deepest thanks go to you, Lord Jesus, for the countless ways you've blessed me, with kindness, with mercy. Thank you for the health I enjoy, for the strength to fulfill my duties, for the protection of my loved ones. Your goodness and compassion are incomparable, Lord. You know me intimately, 
down to the number of strands on my head. You love me deeply. I am so touched by your profound love. Lord, my deepest desire is to remain ever in your presence, to dwell in the sanctuary of your peace. My heart yearns for a profound connection with you, to be an intimate conversation with you, because it is within your embrace that my spirit finds renewal and peace. Holy Spirit, help me in leading a life that glorifies God in every way. I desire a heart that remains humble and appreciative for all of your works. I'm aware, Lord, that you are active in my life's journey, even amid the struggles I encounter, and you are my deliverer. I'm filled with joy today because of your mercy. You hold the reins over all things. Every part of my existence falls under your domain. Therefore, I make the choice to remain in you, where I find peace and security. There's not a single event in my life that you, my God, have not permitted to unfold. I know that the Sovereign Lord orchestrates every aspect of my life for my good. I surrender to your divine plan, King Jesus, and I am compliant with your ways. Even though the future is unknown to me, my trust remains steadfast in you. With all my soul, I place my confidence in you and consciously decide to not rely on my own understanding. I commit to honor you and recognize you in all my actions. You are worthy of all the praise. You straighten every winding road. Thus I glorify you, the architect of the universe, a God who is ever watchful, never succumbing to weariness. Your praises shall eternally be on my lips, and your sacred name shall be exalted with love and reverence. Father, purify my heart and banish any trace of arrogance from within me. Eradicate all negative and malevolent traits from my personality. Rid me of any actions or desires that misalign with your will. Instill within me a gentle spirit, one overflowing with thankfulness, a spirit eager to say yes to you, following your commands and direction. I am filled with joy, Lord Jesus, for you have stripped away sin's dominion over my existence. You have draped me in your compassion and your mercy. You are the beginning and the end, unchanging through time, yesterday, today, and forever. You are the ageless Father, who promised in your scripture that you would contend on my behalf, and I need only be still. I'm truly grateful to you for being my defender, Lord. It's in your sacred space where I find a tranquility and serenity that surpasses any human understanding. Please bestow upon me the grace needed to navigate the difficulties that lay before me. Permit me the grace, Lord, to encounter every obstacle, every giant without fear, but rather with a fortified and assured heart, secure in the knowledge that you, my Lord, will rescue, elevate, and shield me from danger. I praise your name because you proclaimed in John that you have imparted these words to ensure my peace in you. You acknowledge that while I will encounter tribulation in this lifetime, I should be encouraged because you have triumphed over the world. Your victory is mine, and as your child, a believer purified and redeemed by your sacred blood, I hold on to this truth. My spirit remains undaunted, Lord, even when I encounter hardships or setbacks, because with you, I have already claimed victory. Thus, I beseech you to guide my steps continuously, Father, for without you, I am prone to fail and fall into sin. Yet when you are the one leading me, I believe your incredible grace and favor will envelop me. Your affection will tilt the balance in my favor, turning odds to my benefit. I openly admit my dependence on your insight, Lord. At this moment, I wish to elevate praises and offer gratitude to you. I'm thankful that my prayers reach your ears. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, I send these words heavenward. Lord Jesus, my heart's desire is that I don't grow too comfortable or molded by the patterns of this world. In Philippians, it's written, our citizenship is in heaven, and from there we await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our humble bodies and make them like his magnificent one through his mighty power that puts everything under his command. I am so grateful for this powerful reminder that my true home is with you in heaven. I know I belong to you, Lord, and that heaven is where I am destined to be. 
This profound truth makes it clear why befriending the ways of the world means I'd be at odds with God. I have no desire to align myself with worldly pursuits and risk becoming an adversary to the only true God. Instead, I embrace the possibility of the world turning its back on me if it means gaining your acceptance, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, in those times when I struggle to release the things you ask me to abandon, let your Holy Spirit touch my heart and remind me of the immense sacrifice you made on the cross. Stir within me a deep passion for heaven, just as your scripture encourages. Help me to put seeking your kingdom and its righteousness above all else. Make this my heart's true longing. Lord, I yearn for a spirit of devotion like that of David. I too wish to follow ardently after you and to honor you genuinely and truthfully. God, bestow upon me the courage displayed by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the courage to dismantle any false gods in my life, the courage to stand firm and not worship any force or entity that tries to usurp your central place in my existence. I want to be ready to forsake all for your sake, because you surrendered everything for me. I aspire to heed your teachings, to carry my cross daily, and to be your follower. I am aware, Father, that you haven't called me to a life of ease, but rather to one of selflessness. I recognize that walking the narrow path will be challenging, but I pray for your grace to empower my steps forward. I'm aware, dear Lord, that walking in your footsteps means renouncing all other loyalties. Yet I also recognize that you are immensely more precious than anything I might give up. Assist me in releasing the grip I have on any false gods like anger, pride, gluttony, judgments, and foster within me a heart ready to comply and submit. Like Abraham willingly offering his treasured son, allow me to sacrifice my valued possessions and construct an altar dedicated to your glory. Everything I possess, my whole being, it's yours, God. Therefore, let me offer myself as a living tribute, holy and pleasing to you, consecrated for your service. Guide me to build my existence on the strong foundation in you, even if I must part with things that bring me joy and comfort. Grant me the bravery to exchange what is good for what you deem perfect. As you lead me, let me follow with joy and without any complaints. May I not grieve the losses, but celebrate what I've acquired instead. Your scripture tells me that clinging to life may lead to its loss, but surrendering it for your sake means truly finding it. Now, Lord, I lay down my life before you, trusting that what I give away will be magnified in the eternal life. Bestow upon me the faith to remain faithful, even when I don't know what to do next. Abraham didn't foresee that you would spare Isaac, but he had faith in a plan far greater than his own. May I consistently display an eagerness to let go of all I have for the sake of adhering to your flawless plan. Jesus, I approach you, hands unclenched, offering every part of me to you, the rightful owner of everything. I hold the conviction, Lord Jesus, that you are my guardian, my guiding shepherd, and the source of tranquil peace. Let your name be exalted. Thank you for hearing my prayer, my Lord. I believe that spiritual breakthrough and blessings are on the way to me. I offer these words in your beloved name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember to say this prayer for the next nine days. Share this prayer with someone who needs it. Subscribe to get new and powerful prayers. Click on the bell button and select all. Our new powerful series will provide you with insights into what caused God to bless Bible heroes like Jonah, Job, Hosea, and others. However, spots are limited, so click the link in the description to find out how you can receive it for free. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the Victory Prayer for Spiritual Breakthrough and Blessings, and may God's grace be with you.